Fanatic, Eric here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use my portable washing machine. And I don't know if you can also tell, but I also got rid of that big ugly uh, compartment that was on the back here, so that I have more room. It's not as ugly, but so what it is, is it is a base camp. It's electric 110 volt washing machine, so I have it plugged in to my outlet on the side right now. Um, it's just easier to do laundry that way. Um, I can also do it inside in the tub, just put this thing in the tub and do my laundry in there. Or I could plug the outlet into an inverter and run it on DC if I wasn't hooked into electric power. Uh, it's a pretty simple thing. Um, it has an agitator down here. It has a timer on top where you can set it up to 15 minutes and then you can just keep resetting if you want to keep going. But the agitator uh, does switch directions every five to seven seconds and it'll handle anywhere between, it'll handle about five gallons of water what that equals out to is about seven or eight shirts, one pair of jeans. You know, it, it, it's not huge, but it does help, and it'll get a lot of water. And it's economical if you're camping. So the main thing you're gonna need is a source of fresh water to do your wash cycle and your rinse cycle. So I just used water from inside, and I filled it up with this five gallon uh, bucket. Uh, but you might also just be able to get it right out of your sink. On the inside, what I like to do is add about half this thing with water first. And then put in your soap, your detergent. You really don't need very much um, since this isn't like a normal laundry washing machine. It doesn't use that much. Then just start it. Let it agitate. Then it kind of mixes in those soaps. And you can add more water. There is a fill line on these on the inside. It says do not fill past this point, so keep an eye on that. And so I can still fill it a little higher if I want it to. And you do have this drain hose here. If you were to fill it past this line where it says don't fill past this line, if you were to fill it higher than that, this would overflow with water and just dump over the side, which is important to be outside or in a tub. But after this washing cycle is complete to drain it, all you do is take this little latch off of here and put it on the ground or in the tub, let it drain out, and then put in your rinse water. I guess ideally it would be better if you were in a place where you had better access to water, where you weren't using the water on board. Um, what I like to do is once a week, or if I can wait two weeks, use that and go to the river, use river water. Or if you're somewhere where you're camping or boondocking and you have access to better water, then do it then. Five gallons twice per load, that's ten gallons per washing load, is really going to eat away your holding tank. All in all, I really do like this thing. It works great when the weather's nice out here, but I've even used it on rainy days inside. Okay, when that process is done, just take this latch off here, let it drain the water out. Cycle's done. All you need to do is wring it out and find a place to hang them and dry. Them. 